not much happening right now, so I figure out a little casting demonstration. A little windy too, so that's actually good. Pull some line off, let that fly go down. Line up and just wiggle your rod tip, it'll get out there. I'm going to start with a roll cast. The roll cast, what we do is bring the rod tip up, and when the line is hanging at your shoulder, you stop and you just cast it out there current is going that way, so the current is actually going to load my rod for me. I'm going to pick it up, and when it gets at my shoulder, take it off, and bam, it's gone. You can even pull out a little more line. I'm going to let the current load my rod. Bring it up here behind my shoulder, and it just rolls right out. it up here behind my shoulder and it just rolls right out. Now for your dry fly cast, I'm going to shorten my line first. When you're starting, you want to start out with maybe 20 yards of line. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to stop right behind my shoulder. And you got to pause. Stop right behind my shoulder and pause. You gotta wait for that line to unfold in the back of you. Pick it up, pause, go forward. Pick it up, forward, back, pause, 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 pause. Now when I'm casting through a spot, it's only about 15, 20 feet to that bank there, but I'm not going to cast to that water. I'm going to cast to the bank. I'm going to cast, keep my rod tip high, let it fall, and it'll all fall down right at one pace. Let it fall, and it falls down right at one pace. Pause, pause, pause. Stop the rod tip high, let the line fall. Stop the rod tip high, let the line fall all at one pace. Pause, stop the rod tip high, let it fall. Now if I want to extend my line, I have this extra line here. I'm going to do is I'm going to load the rod and I'm going to let it slide through my fingers a little bit at a time. And on my delivery, when you hold the line, the rod tip high to let it go, I let go here, you can make a loop, and it'll just all go out. Get some more. And it's just going to go out. All that line is out. Shorten it. I'm going to let it slide through my fingers. And all that line is gone. The less line you have out, the shorter the pause you're going to have. The more line you have out, the longer the pause. Don't be afraid to turn your head to watch that line on fur in back of you. Okay, you're not gonna. It's not gonna be a, any kind of embarrassment. Just 
keep your rod tip high. Like they say, you want 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. And then 2. Once you have that basic casting stroke, it doesn't matter what the position your arm is in, it could be sideways. You could be on a bridge and casting underneath you. It's still the same basic casting stroke. To get that rhythm and remember to pause. You don't want to go too far back. You do that and your line is not going to do anything. You get this if you go too far. You get wind knots, you get your line tangled up. Pause. Remember, when you deliver your cast, keep your rod tip high and then let it all fall at once.